Georgia, South Carolina, here we come. And it's like the storm followed me here. It's gonna intensify before it makes landfall here. This was supposed to be the place to come and shelter from the storm. You guys are gonna stay, is that right? Yeah, we're gonna ride it out. He's on his way to deliver this RV to Florida. You got permission? This is a Microtel hotel. Where's Waldo? Where's Waldo? I'm Tom. And I'm Cherie. And we're enjoythejourney.life. Well, not a bad night stay at this Cracker Barrel near Gainesville. There was uh, three or four other RVs here, and uh, but not as packed as I thought it might be. I'm sure that's about to change, but I need to get back on the road and farther north. And we're continuing uh, my evacuating from Florida from Hurricane Ian because RVs and hurricanes don't mix. After half a mile, turn left. Uh, yeah, I'm in Waldo right now. Where's Waldo? Where's Waldo? Waldo is kind of east of Gainesville, I guess. You know. Yeah. <laughs> Waldo Farmers and Flea Market. <laughs> <laughs> well, made it to I-95 north. Not quite out of Florida yet. Bye-bye, Florida. We'll be back soon. Wow, talk about a huge price difference. Uh, it's getting about time to get some more diesel, and I'm going to use the EFS card this time. So I get on the app just up the road, right over the border in Georgia. Uh, what was that called? Petro Kingsland. And that is $390 a gallon of diesel the savings is over a dollar a gallon using the EFS card I've never seen savings like that so that's where we're going that's pretty cool well I'll have to look at the statement to see how cheap this actually is yeah I think that's it right there Georgia, South Carolina, here we come. Oh, this has been a great day for driving. Great weather, and the traffic has never been too bad. Already in South Carolina, so yeah. All is good. Probably I can drive up to another hour before it starts getting dark. Already eyeing up the next uh, potential Cracker Barrel. I would be looking for a harvest host as well. Uh, nothing really close to the freeway, but I'm basically gonna be right outside of Charleston or Somerville. So uh, just a quick place for the night to find. And then gotta start calling campgrounds. And <laughs> cross my fingers here that uh, I can find one with some availability like this. Hopefully we're far enough that they haven't had too many calls for people evacuating yet. And uh, I can find a place to at least park the RV for a while. Yeah, just saw some of the emergency power crews uh, going down or crews from other uh, states, you know, that are being borrowed or volunteering, whatever they're doing to go down and help in advance so that's kind of cool uh we have seen that before on the road when there's been other hurricanes going on they'll come from far north or far west uh way out to the gulf states to help out
Cherie and I often say there are no accidents. And even accidents are not accidents. You know, they're meant to happen. So I missed the turn to the Cracker Barrel parking lot and actually it seemed like it would be too tight. And I pulled in here and there was no turnaround. I'm like, oh man. Then I saw uh, this other RV park back here and I'm like, oh, well that's interesting. I didn't think anything of it. I could back in by him and pull around, but I ran into Mike. He's on his way to deliver this RV to Florida. And he just said, oh, hey, you can park right next to me. I'll move over. And I'm like, you got permission? This is a Microtel hotel <laughs> and he's he's got permission so here I am next to this Alliance RV and uh, got a nice level spot right here and I don't have to maneuver a Cracker Barrel parking lot so it, it was an accident at first but it's not really an accident because you know I met a fellow traveler and you know, got a nice place to stop for the night. So I'm gonna go ahead and get settled in. And I, I pushed it a little bit. It's getting a little dark. <laughs> but I am so close. Cherie's probably like 50 miles away from here. Pretty darn close. I'll get to see her tomorrow and uh, plan to find a regular campsite here. Well, I had a great night's sleep here at the Microtel Hotel here. Um, first time in a hotel parking lot. Uh, my friend, new friend, hauling the Alliance RV down to Florida has already gone. So I hope he stays safe. I would not be taking an RV down to Florida right now. I know he talked about wanting to get down there, drop it off quickly and, and get out of there, but it's like, well, you know, an RV, even by itself, is still going to just, it's going like, to be like a big piece of debris blowing around. I, somebody had a great question, like, what do all the RV dealers do about their RVs in all these lots? I mean, huge RV dealers around Tampa. You got Lazy Days, RV1, um, a bunch of them. So, at... Uh, you know, what do you guys think? Or does somebody know? Or is it like the insurance company is going to pay up for a lot of wrecked RVs? I, I, I don't know, but uh, just something to, uh, to think about. But I actually got a booking at a local state park here for three nights starting tomorrow night. But I have to be there in person or on the phone uh, to get tonight. So I'm just gonna head over there and I'm sure it'll be fine. They had several openings So it's gonna head over and get checked in and uh, At least I've got a place up until Friday morning right now and get to see Sheree here so <laughs> But uh, all right time to get on the road know or think that it's necessarily the worst in the country but South Carolina please please work on your section of I-95 uh, just horrible uh, road here <laughs> Wow you know a lot of a lot of damage done to vehicles on these uh, on these highways that are in such bad shape Wow major roadkill <laughs> Whatever that was and I just got called back by the state park and they went ahead and already added uh, tonight so I've got four total nights it's not even 11 o'clock in the morning and I can go ahead and check in now which is super cool because some campsites won't even let you check in till later in the afternoon so I mean this is just super awesome It'll be nice to get off the road and have a full hookup campsite for the next four days. And I'm only going to be like 21 minutes 
uh, from Cherie's mom's place in this particular spot. After 700 feet, turn left onto Jiffins Ferry Park Road and then you will reach your destination. You have reached your destination. The destination is on your left. Oh, this is super nice. Just love it when you get a nice state park that a big rig can actually fit into. It's beautiful. I'll have to get some shots of the river here and all the trees. And and Sheree has actually hiked here before. I don't know if it was when she was a kid or, or what exactly, but she's looking forward to coming out here and doing some hiking. Oh yeah, just beautiful in here. Not very many people in here. Oh yeah, beautiful, beautiful. Oh, some of my favorite campsites are in state parks. Looks like I can back way in here. So I should be good. Just get this picnic table out of the way. Nice new power box, so I think I'm going to be good. Now I really get to take advantage of uh, the Furion backup camera here, especially parking by myself, that's nice. And it's nice I can see when I'm hitting trees right there so perfect thanks so much for reaching out with tips and advice and offers of places to stay on the video we released on Sunday uh, I have made it to a safe place in South Carolina thank you so much out of Florida, over the Atlantic. We're beginning to see more power outages kind of sprinkle in. This was supposed to be the place to come and shelter from the storm, but the wind is actually already starting to blow here. I'm just outside of Charleston, South Carolina, and it's like the storm followed me here. It's gonna intensify before it makes landfall here. You guys are gonna stay, is that right? Yeah. We're gonna ride it out. Cherie said I gotta go.